nothing else, I'm the answer to a trivia question, right? But, um, uh, it's exciting. You know, it, when you play the first one, you can't imagine it would be this long getting back. You know, because uh, we had a lot of good things going on in Tennessee at the time. We had a lot of good football teams. And, and I think having been in the first one, not that you take it for granted, but you kind of expect to do it again. And the fact that it's been, you know, this number of years between the two, uh, I think um, not that I've worked any harder or any less for this one, but I've actually taken time to appreciate the fact that I'm here. And um, I think I'm in my 25th year of coaching and, and <coughs> haven't done it as, as long as I have. And, and as I mentioned, you know, last year wasn't a, wasn't a great season as far as success, but – uh, to get back and have this kind of success and be in this position, um, having done it as long as I have, makes me appreciate where we're at. And uh, I look forward to going out there and playing the game because it's going to be fun. Just being in that atmosphere, being in that arena is going to be fun. Obviously, it's a whole lot more fun when you win, and, and we certainly expect <coughs> to win. But from first snap to the last snap, it's going to be fun. Those days, I mean, coming in the high recruit, then you coming into the Florida State atmosphere, it's like it's a reality check that hits you because everybody else is so bigger and stronger, and you got to you got to find a new 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 role. Come being the man in high school, you you a little shrimp in college. But I mean, Coach Dawson did a great job of, of getting me level headed. I mean, the first two years here was just it was a little rough for me, but Coach Dawson he was a great father figure to me. I mean, he, he, I, I pride my success to him. And just like anybody else, I mean, just he, he, he played golf for a living. And, I mean, it's just like anybody else's parent that. Mine's getting cut off on the seventh. Uh, I look like a 12-year-old kid when I shave mine, so uh, I'm going to keep it. But uh, it just kind of happened. And the trick is, and you know what the trick is, right, to grow a beard? Don't shave it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, the beard's a beard, and uh, I mean, just consistency. you got to have discipline to do this. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. A lot of players in the box. If you look at our football team, we've not had a dominant single player uh, in that area. Our secondary uh, deserves a lot of credit. We've, we've lost some really good players along the way, and we've played without a lot of depth. But in, up front, we've rotated a lot of players, and I think that's helped us be a better fourth quarter team. Uh, we have not been, by all standards, a, a really good defense this year. I think part of it's because we're in a new system. These guys have gone through three different systems in three different years. Uh, we've been inconsistent at times, and you put that on me. But we've always known how to play in the moment. <clears throat> when there's a play on the line, we've been good on third down, we've been good in the red zone, we've been good in the fourth quarter. We've made critical stops at critical times, and I think that's a credit to our players. But if I could, you know, reiterate that one, one issue, we play a lot of players in the box with our front and our linebackers, and I think it's really helped us in the fourth quarter when we've had to make stops and had to make critical plays. Being a team that, you know, was trying to put ourselves in this position, we knew we had to be a great four-quarter team. And, you know, that at the end of the game it, uh, has been uh, ending in a unique fashion for us. And uh, we've been trying to make the dominant plays in that quarter to, to put ourselves in position to win another game. Uh, I think, like Coach Johnson said, our, our front seven, who, who has been tremendous for us in the fourth, uh, just been destroying linemen and, you know, destroying offensive plays. And Coach Johnson has been putting us in great play that allow us to, to be disruptive, disruptive in the fourth quarter. And I think that's paid a lot of dividends to uh, our fourth quarter uh, winnings.